Hey, what's up, Hawkeye fam? Welcome back to another episode of Hawkeye Fishing. If you're new to the channel, why don't you go down there and smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, leave a comment which bait in this video is your favorite, and which one you throw first. Anyways, I haven't been making videos here lately because the weather has not been great. Um, it's kind of in that awkward stage where it's too cold to fish, but not cold enough to have solid ice. So here soon, I'm hoping to get out on the ice and do some ice fishing videos. So stay tuned for that. If it's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to do an unboxing of my Black Friday lures that I bought from Tackle Warehouse and Shop Carl's. I got it a couple weeks ago, but I just haven't had a chance to make a video on it. So figure this is the best time and I'll tell you guys why I bought them, what my plan is. Usually I buy two to three different lures that I normally wouldn't buy just because I'm saving money on them. Anyways, let's get to this. First ones I see in here are some pedal tail swim baits. It's probably not going to be a very long video, so watch the whole thing. 4.75 inch exo swims in Pro Flash, a five pack. Another 4.75 inch in Green Pumpkin Pearl. It's kind of it's Green Pumpkin on the top and Pearl on the bottom. 4.75 inch in Electric Shad. Four point seven five inch in feeder shad. Tell me if I'm saying that wrong. Four point seven five inch in sexy shad. Another four point five inch in or four point seven five inch in sexy shad. So most of the time, what I like to do with these is put them on a swim bait hook with an underspin. I got some in here. I'll show you guys here in a sec. Or I'll chop them down a little bit and throw them on a swim jig or on a, a spinner bait. So let's toss these out of the way so I can keep going. Next two things I see in here are some filthy frogs. One in bullfrog and the other one in white. You know I love my frog fishing. Next one is the Vega Frog 70 in Sneaky Ghost. This one I'm super excited about. I love the design, how slender it is. I feel like the hookup ratio is going to be way better. The hooks are pointed up and away from the body, so it's easier to catch the fish with them. But I'm super excited about throwing this this year, so can't wait for it. Next thing I see is this. Baby bullgill in 3.75 inch slow sinking swim bait and crappie. I'm pretty sure this is going to kill it this year during spawn. You bring it across a bed, kind of just let it flip to the bottom, make it look like it's messing with the um, little bed, and probably going to piss off some mamas, so that's going to be a good one. And also, around the time that bluegill are spawning, you throw this around the same areas that bluegill spawn and you're sure to have bass lurking, having their revenge, and this will probably get swallowed. Next ones I see are some spinners. I go War Eagle. I love War Eagle. I got this War Eagle right here. I think it's Colorado Blades and White Gold. Usually I keep it simple, a whitish color to mimic the bait fish. There's another one, and willow blades, white silver, another white silver. And I usually get them in half ounce or three eighths. I got this one in white copper, mimic shiners. There's another one, and another one. Those are the spinners I bought. Next things I see in here are the 10,000 fish death stalker. It's like a 
I don't even know what you would call these, a bait, a bladed bait with a little spinner at the end. Um, I got it in half ounce hitch and half ounce classic. These are two of the ones that I told you guys that I usually get baits that I wouldn't normally buy. I'm curious to try these out. Leave in the comments if you guys have had luck with these. The other one was this Vega Frog. It's usually $13. I don't like spending that much money on baits, but since it was Black Friday, I got 20% off, saved some dollars, so I'll give it a try. Here is the underspins I was talking about, the swim baits with the underspins. Got them right here. These work. Throw them on a paddle tail and get bent, as Sooner Fishing would say. I got, these are all swim jigs and Candy bluegill, six cents divine swim jigs, in my opinion, are the best swim jigs on the market. They get destroyed. These, so far, I think are all the same color. I think I got six of them. This color, nope, five. Five this color, that candy bluegill, and then I got two gizzard sheds. All of them are half ounce. That's all the swim jigs. Next up, I got the Divine Hybrid Jig by Six Cents. I got two black and blues. I keep it very simple. Black and blues and bluegill color. Here is two in Grass Mutin. And here is two in Green Pumpkin Blue Crush. All of them half ounce. Hold on. Also picked up a Mondo kit, the $30 one. It was on sale for 15 bucks on Shop Carl's. Can't pass that up. Give it a try. Let's unbox this really quick. You get pretty cool Guggen sticker. You get a Zinger swim bait. This one looks like chartreuse and white. That's gonna get crushed. You get a Grass Hero swim jig and bluegill. It's a four out four out hook. Four out hook. You get a mini banger and Mondo Shad. Pretty sure is the color, I didn't see it, but. I got another Filthy Frog and Bullfrog, so I got two of those. These are pretty good also, good for the money. You get kind of a face shield. And you get some Guggen Bait Saucy Swimmers in 3.3 inches. They get me Green Pumpkin Blue, which is gonna go great with that swim jig. These are also really awesome. They're a little bit more pricier than the Exo Swims. That's why I go with the Exo Swims. But those work. Those do the job. All right, so that's all my tackle that I got for Black Friday. Usually I get a ton more, but this year with the pandemic, everything's so uncertain that I didn't want to spend so much. But anyways, I want to give a quick shout out to Bubbaville Bubba Bassing. Bubbaville Fishing, man, if I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry, man. I'll have them down below. And Sooner Fishing, I'll have him down below also. Stand up dudes, go give them a follow, go give them a subscribe, watch their videos. They get bent, as Sooner Fishing would say. I say that a lot, so. Anyways, make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe. Until next time, peace.